Taryn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a style Saturday. Are we ready for those yet? We do a lot of swimsuit Saturdays here, which we haven't done one in a while. And now that I'm getting into the fall spirit, it's 110 here, but that's not the point. The point is I still want to pick colors and things and show you all of the fall inspired trends. So today what we're going to do is recreate five looks that I found on Pinterest using pieces that I already own. And when I do this, I think it's very important to mention that you most likely have some of these things already and you'll see me switch out maybe styles or colors or something because I don't own the specific style item in the Pinterest post and I think that's okay. I think it makes it a little bit more personal. I will try to find the things that I'm going to show you today and link them down below which they may be similar items because I've had these things for a very long time. But again, I don't think you necessarily need to go out and buy anything. I think it's fun to try to recreate these looks. Now I'm going for maybe a little bit trendier. I say that I'll put some pictures here of some trends that I see all over Pinterest, but I feel like we've done them here before over the years, and I think we're kind of getting out of those looks and into something a little bit different. So my goal today is to try to recreate those newer trendy things using some of the things that, again, I already own and that maybe I've shown in the past, but we're styling them a little bit different. So I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do and you want to recreate anything that you see, please tag me. I love to see. So whether it's Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, which I think is now called X, tag me because I want to see them. So I hope that you enjoy this and let's get into it. Let's do these a little bit different than we've done in the past. I want to show you the picture first. I love the skirt. I love the sweater with it. I love the booties. I don't own a hat, but that's okay because I feel like I've put something together that's really, really cute. So this is the inspiration. And this is my recreation. The bag is from Stitch Fix. I think I kept this for my very first Stitch Fix like unboxing video ever. This sweater is from Free People. I got it from Belk. It's a long kind of baggy sweater. So I just belted it and kind of billowed it out. This is a dress. This is from Anthropology. It is a piece that I did spend a little bit of money on, but it's gorgeous. I'll show you what it looks like under the sweater. I haven't worn it yet, but I do try to style it as much as possible to really give me an idea of how to wear it. I feel like it would be beautiful for fall photos. I don't know. Let me know how you think I should wear it. And then these booties are from Walmart. They're tan slouchy booties. They actually come in a color extremely similar to this that I think would be even prettier. So I may go on and order them just because I feel like they would go with so much stuff. But this is cozy. This is pretty. This is very warm. <laughs> So if it's a little bit chilly where you live, I think that this could be perfect. I like the bag. It sort of dresses it down a little bit. And I don't think I need the hat. It's really pretty without... I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised with this one. For look number two, I will put the picture here. We're sticking with this same sweater, but we're styling it completely different. I loved the puffy vest. I don't own Birkenstocks, but I, I feel like wait till you see the shoes that I'm going to show you. So this outfit... Let's recreate it. Look number two. I, why did I do that? <laughs> I love this one. So it's obviously way different than the picture, but it's the same concept. So I have this puffer vest from Target. I loved the muted blushy tone of it. This is the same Free People pullover. These jeans, y'all, are from Timu and they fit me so nice. They're high-waisted. They're long enough. I love the slight bit of distressing. The shoes though are Nike. The tones in them match so, so well with the top part of this that I feel like I scored. Like this is such an easy and cute look. Everything goes together, but it's not too matchy matchy. I feel very comfortable, very cute. I haven't owned a pair of Birkenstocks since I was probably 12 or 13. And I don't see them as much as I did maybe over the summer. Are they still in? Let me know. If so, I may grab a pair, especially for the fall, because they would be cute with this outfit too. Next outfit, I'll put a picture here. I specifically searched Pinterest for fall outfits with cowboy boots. I own a pair from so long ago, but they're the, the most comfortable. So here's the inspiration, and I think I nailed this one too. This is your like cool girl, cowgirl aesthetic. I feel like the oversized things are really popular and you just throw a cowboy boot or some sort of fitted boot on. 
and it makes it work. So we have this chic sole dress. I love that it's a very spring and summer print, but the colors in it make me think that we could do fall. And this cardigan actually is from Chic Soul as well. It's from a long time ago. The dress is current. The cardigan, I'll try to find the similar one. And then I just have these Target cowboy boots. They're not real cowboy boots. I got them probably 10 years ago for like 20 bucks. I'm, I'm pretty sure they were on sale but they're the most comfortable. They have like a memory foam sole. I've worn them so many times with zero complaints. And this is comfy. It's very baggy, oversized, but really cute. You could absolutely belt it if you wanted to. But this is actually the perfect outfit for me where I live because it's so dang hot that if I want to look fall, I really have to just go for colors versus styles. So this is what I would do. I think it's cute without the cardigan as well. It just makes it a little bit more summery, but it's very flowy, very comfy. You may have already seen this dress. I styled it over on Instagram. Two looks left. Let's do this one now. I have a couple different options for the top and the bottoms. Are, it's a very, it's different from the picture, but it's sort of a like. So this is the inspiration. Oh, this one might be my favorite, y'all. Okay, it's very, very different from the photo. But hear me out. So this is from Old Navy. I felt like the collar was more important in that outfit than to not have one. I do have a gray sweatshirt I'll put on to show you. But that's why I chose this one because it's the only solid color one that I own. Bag is Lululemon hat. Oh my gosh, I couldn't even tell you where I got this black hat. I can't find my leggings that I really, really like. They're beyond yoga. They're flare leggings. So I just have on these black Walmart jeans. I actually just hauled them in a video. And then these super white Lululemon sneakers. I do own a white hat, but it's it's seen better days and it's a little bit dirty. So we're sticking with the black one today. But this is casual, very me. Okay, let me put on the gray sweatshirt. Okay, I like this one too. I only didn't start with this one because I'm pretty sure I showed you this exact outfit last season minus the pants I think I had on my leggings but I am pretty sure you have seen this exact look. So that's why I went with something different on the top. This sweatshirt is from Old Navy. It, I think it's their vintage, some sort of vintage look, and it is the most cozy, soft sweatshirt. I wish I would have purchased more colors. I just don't need that many where I live. Like right now, it's so hot outside that my house can't get super cool. And I'm, can you see the, the glisten, the sweat, because I'm putting on fall like sweaters and pants and stuff. This is even more sporty, right? I like both of them equally. Actually, I take that back. I think I like the other one better, but this is a good option too if you want sort of those solid, no color, nothing bright like the other one, then I think this is a great option. Last look we have, picture here. This was a little bit harder for me to recreate. I don't own a long denim skirt like that. I have a short one, but it's more it's dark, it's a little bit more summery. So we're going with jeans in this. I think I have a good option for you. If you wanna stick with the lighter bottom denim option, let's see. Let me show you what I put together. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say this one is a fail. It doesn't quite translate in the same way, but I'm still showing you because someone out there may like it. So this is that J. Crew top that I just hauled recently. I love it. These are two-tone like crossover cropped jeans. I got from a local boutique. I know they don't have them anymore. I'll try to find some similar ones. And then those same Walmart booties, the tan slouchy ones. All right, so hear me out. The booties with these like cropped not skinny jeans is very in. So we're going with it. The top on her, her top is way more baggy. So I think maybe that could help me like this a little bit more, but I think what the problem is, is the pants. I don't own a pair of light wash pants like this that I really love, but these, I just don't know if they're the right, like the two-tone with the tan, I don't think goes very well. I also tried to belt it, so I have on this leopard print belt, but I don't think it works because they're a crossover jean. So crossover, is that what I'm trying to say? The buttons are a little bit different, so I don't think the belt really works with it. I did try on a black belt first, like the picture, and I just felt, I don't know, I think it's the belt in general. I like the look on her, but for me, it just doesn't quite translate. It's much cuter without the belt and without it tucked in, in my opinion. I would probably just do white sneakers. I think that's a little bit more casual, but 
I love the top. I love the jeans. I love the booties all separately. I don't know if I love them together. All right, y'all, that is a wrap. I'm officially sweating, but I feel like we found four really great looks. Again, this last one, not my favorite, but different, and I think that's sort of what we go for here. So I will try to find everything and link it down below. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I don't, a lot of these things I've had for a while, there's only a handful maybe not even that many of newer things, but I'll try to find similar ones for you. But again, I want you to recreate them using pieces you already own and tag me, please. I love to see. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next one. Bye y'all.